What's up everybody, this is Danny and today I'm going to be doing the camera comparison between the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and the new Galaxy Z Flip 5. Wait up, hold on a minute. Okay, that's better. Now I'm shooting from the ultra wide angle from the front cover display and that is the best way to use the Z Flip in my opinion. So let's go and test these cameras out and let's see if the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor can make this a worthy upgrade for the Z Flip 5. Let's do it. Okay, before we get started, definitely hit the link down below so you can get incentives like the 512 gigabytes of storage free, plus up to $900 in trade and credit. You can upgrade from the Z Fold 4 for so little, it's definitely worth looking into. Me personally, I think the larger cover display alone in the processor upgrade is totally worth it, but to help you make that buying decision, let's talk about the camera to see if this is an actual upgrade or not, since it uses the same camera system as last year's. Any flagship or smartphone in this price category can take a great picture during the day, so this is no different. Of course, the older Z Flip 4 can take great photos, and some pictures side by side almost look identical, and with some of them, it's hard to tell the difference, but there are a few things that I noticed that stood out. First of all, you get a more contrasty shot with the new Galaxy Z Flip 5. This is consistent with the processing that is on the new Galaxy Z Fold 5, so this will be personal preference on which one that you like. The processing most of the time allows for better handling of the highlights and prevents clipping. Take a look at the clouds here. It is better exposed, allowing more detail to come through, so this is great. If you take a look at this photo of the wall in the contemporary, you can see that the Z Flip 4 likes to pump up the shadows, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but punching in shows the bump up in vibrance from that contrast and a sharper image. And speaking of sharpness, I found that the Z Fold 5 dialed back on the sharpness slightly in comparison, but with the Z Flip 5, I found the images to be sharp. I mean, very sharp. And I think that the crowd that would be buying this phone, this is the image clarity bump that they would want. In almost every picture I took side by side, there is a significant increase in clarity and sharpness. Take a look at this food from Crystal Palace. This chicken and sausage just looks so much sharper. And the entire plate is in focus with no sacrifice to the depth of field. So this is exactly what I saw with the Z Fold 5. So this makes sense. Of course, if you know me, I had to try the buffalo chicken wings. And this is the exact same result. You can see how much more detail there is. It almost looks blurry on the Z Flip 4. And in this shot, the Z Flip 5 creates a brighter and more vibrant image. So it looks way more appetizing. And when you look at the punched in image of the impossible buffalo tenders, the difference is very noticeable. The only thing that I would love Samsung to do is tune the sharpening a little bit. In some of the shots, I did notice some over sharpening. So if you're a person that really peeps in on your photos, you might notice this. While it's not terrible, I would personally like it dialed down slightly, but what this means for the average consumer is that almost every photo that you take, even if you own a Galaxy Z Flip 4, is that you're going to get a sharper and more detailed image. When you punch in heavily, just look at the building all around. You can especially see it on the stairs here and look at this area here. You can really see it. So this is what you can expect. I do also see an improvement in HDR as well. Just take a look at here. You can see some ghosting on the Flip 4, but clean here on the Flip 5. So overall, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy is working its magic here. The best way to show you the increase in processing power is in the zoom photos, and I know this phone does not have a proper telephoto, but it does have digital zoom. Even the ultra wide shot shows the same increase in detail and sharpness. Take a look at the tiles up here and the building texture here, so I'm glad to see this across the ultra wide shots as well. This is the main sensor, and that looks very close. And then there is the 2x digital, and of course, this looks the same. And at 4x, if you look close enough, you can start to see the difference. But when you jump into the max digital zoom at 10x, this is where you see the processing more clearly. And this is much better than I thought it would be. I did this test outside too when we were waiting for Astro Orbiter. This is the 2x. And then this is the 4X where the Z Flip 4 actually looks better, but the 10X, check out how much better that is on the new Z Flip 5. Just one more so you know that this isn't a fluke. There is the 4X digital on the Astro Orbiter sign. Check out the HDR improvement here too. And then the 10X Max again. What a difference. It's almost like this is a new camera system. When it comes to skin tones, I'm not noticing a huge difference in color and tone, but in some of the pictures, you will notice the contrast bump and the reds are more properly represented, which I'm always a fan of. When it comes to portrait mode, most of the time from the default settings, the background blur is toned down, so the bouquet looks a little more natural, so I'm digging it. But of course, you can change that later to your liking. In this one, you can see how much sharper the faces are and the detail level is very noticeable. And in the background, you can see the HDR improvements on the windows and the roll off is more natural. And while it might be subtle, I can see it. 
Even on the front facing camera, I'm noticing the same thing, just a nice bump up in clarity. So you will see a difference across the entire camera system. Even when the light was going down, the front facing camera had better results. And even though all images won't have this drastic difference between the two, I think people will be very happy overall when it comes to the daytime images. Now, I think there's only one downside that I can point out is that sometimes the contrast can be way too heavy on the new processing on the Z Flip 5. Some photos can be a little too aggressive, really crushing the shadows. It doesn't happen all the time, but I would like Samsung to look at this and tune it on a future software update. You can just see how much better the shadows are here on the Z Flip 4. In this scenario, I really would like a mix between these two because I don't mind the contrasty, dramatic looking photo, but it can get a little too aggressive. But I'm not a fan of this neon looking highlight interpretation, so they're going in the right direction. It just needs some tuning, which I'm sure they'll do. One last test before we go into video. I know a lot of you wanted me to test the shutter lag and in bright daylight, it's never a problem. So we went into a darker set arcade to test this out. You know how active air hockey is. So I just wanted to hit the shutter at the same time on both of these phones on portrait mode and on just regular photos. And unfortunately, I didn't see a huge change in them. The motion is still there, which I totally expected. But take a look at the faces and also look at the background. There is some improvement to the image itself. I don't know any phone that could capture this scenario completely blur free, but if you wanted me to do a comparison with the subject or just want me to dive in a little bit deeper, let me know. But at least there is some improvement on the clarity, so that is sort of a win. I mean, this one time, the difference in the shutter times captured one completely blur free image on the Z Flip 5, so take that for what it is. When it comes to video, I am seeing an improvement. If you're watching on a smartphone screen, you might not be able to tell the difference, but if you're watching on a larger screen like a TV, you should be able to see the new Z Flip 5 is less sharpened and the detail is also better. You can definitely see it on the trees here. In this scenario, take a look at the grass. The detail is so much better and the sharpening on the Z Flip 4 does bring out more detail here though. So this is a good example of super harsh lighting during sunset and you can also see the stabilization while walking. They both have great stabilization during the day where you can see the extra contrast and better highlight control results in an overall better video. It might be subtle, but the improvement is welcome. That extra contrast looks really good when it comes to portrait mode video as well. You can see the improved dynamic range in the background as well as my kids activate immediate goofy mode as soon as I start recording anything. Let me know if this is the case for other parents out there. This is us on the Astro Orbiter. Let me know which video looks smoother when there's motion in place. I'm digging the colors better on the Z Flip 5, so let me know if you agree or disagree. I know I never test 4K 60 frames per second, and a lot of you are requesting that, and I don't want to do the whole video in 4K 60, but here's a 4K 60 clip in a 4K 30 timeline, so this is effective slow motion, but you can get the idea of the quality between the two, and I can do a separate 4K 60 sample if you want me to in a short, so let me know know if you want to see that. So now that I've laid the foundation down for the improvements that you will see, nighttime is pretty much identical, so I'll just show you the examples. To be honest, I was impressed how well the Galaxy Z Flip 4 held up against the new Z Flip 5. It definitely has aged well when it comes to some of these night shots, but you will see the same bump up in image quality. Take a look at this shot, one of my favorite angles of Spaceship Earth, and the structure itself looks very similar, but when punching into this part, look at the detail difference. You can see the swirls and the texture. Granted, there is more noise in the photo, so that is the sacrifice. Again, I know software tuning is needed because in some shots like this one, the Z Flip 5 is better in every way with sharpness and detail. And then when you punch into the sky, the noise level is better controlled too. So that is the ideal output that I want to see. But noise will vary like in this one, even though it is brighter on the new phone, it definitely has more noise. So it will depend on if you like that or not. But in almost every picture that I took at night, you can see just how much sharper the new phone is. I can see it right away. Take a look at this one, just like during the day, more of the frame itself is in focus. And then when you punch in, you can really see it. But then if you look right here, you can tell that the software needs to be updated. But this one, I think really sums it up and nails it. It's the same distance, just a click, no night mode. And look at this detailed difference. I cannot believe this came from the same sensor that is just so impressive. So I think that you will be happy overall again, even at night. Under challenging lighting, you can see the clarity difference in this picture. Before we left Epcot that night, this is a major difference. When we watched the fireworks at Magic Kingdom the next night, the results weren't as drastic in this one, but still definitely better. I just found overall the new Z Flip 5 having a more balanced shot with colors and skin tone. 
I do like that they are tuning away from the excessive red pickup on the skin as well. This one looks so good on the Flip 5. And here's an example of the front facing camera with night mode. It is quite dark here on the hub grass at Magic Kingdom and the refinement of balance definitely makes it look more true to life on the Z Flip 5. But if you like the brighter shot, you will favor the Z Flip 4. Man, looking at this, my eyes are so red. That jet lag is something else, man. I think I was a zombie that night. Look at that crazy red pickup on the Z Flip 4. I know it's random, but I do get this sometimes with this phone. Of course, taking selfies from the main camera is the real way to go with this flex screen. They both look great, but I do prefer the Z Flip 5's overall photos at night, so I'm glad the improvements are noticeable. I took so many photos, but if you want, I can post these in a separate video or on Instagram, but not sure if that's necessary or not, because this night mode photo is so much cleaner on the Flip 5, and it took two seconds less to capture, which is also a win so I say 90% of the photos that I took had more detail better colors and I saw this again across the ultra wide which is great this was during the fireworks and look at the detail here versus the Z Flip 4 it's very noticeable and while this one might be too saturated Samsung can definitely dial that down it does have better tone overall so I think it's safe to say that the low light photography has improved on the Z Flip 5 is this better than you thought it would be I know for me, it definitely was. So let's end this with video. I know it's redundant, but I'm seeing the same quality increase here as well. This is 4K 30 frames per second from the main sensor. It might not be a drastic difference, but you can see it from a bigger screen. The ultra wide video I think has the biggest quality increase. I couldn't believe this one. You can definitely see it. Look at the star there, the detail, the noise reduction, pretty much all of it is just so much better on the Z Flip 5. Also, when I'm panning to this wood, take a look at the texture two on this fence that is pretty incredible for just a processor change the only thing I can knock is the stabilization during the low light video I know there is some jelly effect on the Z Flip 4 as well but I feel like it's more noticeable on the new Z Flip 5 I'm sure this can be tuned through software because they are the same sensor after all so I really wouldn't be too worried about it it's not that they're all that different between the two but I thought that I would point that out but yeah, that about does it. I hope you enjoyed this comparison. Long story short, the camera systems are the same, but the quality is different. So if you were on the fence, this might be the tipping point in you upgrading to the new Z Flip 5. But in that same sentence, I get if you want to keep your Z Flip 4 for another year, especially if you don't have access to the trade-in values. But if you do, definitely check out trading in your Z Flip 4 because with that big cover screen and the improved camera with slightly better battery life, this could be the no-brainer upgrade of the year. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this and subscribe for a lot more videos like this. And I will see you in the next one.